Hello, everybody. You're oh, welcome to another amazing episode. In as much I do not agree with this statement that says experience is the best teacher, I totally do not agree. That does not mean it's not true. I just believe that sometimes we say we understand. I used to be part of those people that say, I understand how you feel, but I don't think you understand until you felt it. And I'm talking about every feeling someone is talking about. Um, before we get right into it. Hello guys, you're welcome to another amazing episode on the Express Luchy Podcast in the Real Podcast. Don't forget that this podcast is a platform for you to be expressive and a reality check. I'm your host, Imitazi Ultra Gloria, and I titled today's topic, Pain is Felt. You don't understand until you have gone through that process. You don't understand until it has, hap- until it has happened to you. So I'm saying this mainly because of um, recently I have missed my dad a lot god bless his soul i have spoken about him more than i have spoken about him since he passed in a good way because when my dad died i just made the statement carelessly and i was like i'm going to try to fit in his shoes and do things that he would normally do for my family or what he would normally do for myself so a lot of time recently i found myself doing things that he would normally do and it just made me really i felt him more than i have ever felt I felt the absence, I felt the existence of my father because he, I always say, is a very key role in my life. So I think that is where this came from. I I don't think what I feel now is pain, but I just really miss my dad. So I just want to talk about that feeling. And it just took me back to the time when my dad was ill, when he was really sick. And I remember having to go see the doctor for my own personal reason. And my daddy was in the hospital, was in the house. So I remember people asking me, so I met one of our church members in the hospital and she was asking me, oh, what are you doing here? And I said, I came for my personal reasons. And that kind of brew something else. They thought, I think it was a gist of, oh, she, he did his hospital. You don't want to tell him where, um, you don't want to tell us that he's in the hospital. You are hiding it. And at that point, I would appreciate if people understood that it was not even about hiding how, my dad was fearing it was not even about hiding which hospital he was it was just the fact that i did not even want my dad to be in the hospital how about that you put i would go to church i come to the shop i come to the office i'm handling things say we are gone now and i'm just giving it an answer like oh he's not feeling fine but he will soon be be able to come to work and people just felt like what people could see was just me being secretive about my dad's health they felt like oh waiting did they hide now she very soon now will find out but in my head is how about you take yourself out of the situation take yourself out of the picture and try to understand that i don't want you to even ask me how my dad health is doing i don't want that questions all i just want is for my dad to be fine at that point and it was just something not just for me my mom experienced the same thing so there's a time that he had to move from my daddy visited Sapele and Bini in the same day for his health issue at that period and something happened and he had to go to Lagos for another treatment and because we have told some people prior before that time prior to that time that oh he is in Sapele he will not be able to be around for a very long time so somebody else it was just so much information that it did not even concern a lot of people so they would just say something like oh you tell me say you did Sapele why you did high say you don't go Lagos I'm like, remove yourself from the freaking situation and smear the coffee. It is not even about the information I'm passing to you. It is just me just concentrating on how this man gets better, not the information I'm passing to you. So I believe that when people are not in that situation, even when I tell people that, oh, my daddy was very, um, very sick before he died, people do not understand. They just see the, oh, he was sick. He see like if you've spoken to people that has had to care for their loved one for a very long time and they eventually lost the person, you would understand that it is not even about giving you too much information because who wants to give that information? Today you think he's getting better, the next day he'll see a different side of the same sickness. So I'm just saying I have to highlight it that in as much as you say you understand, no matter how you want to come see somebody, um a very respectable man of god i respect so much in my life he used to say this i'm like 
probably they do understand the fact that they say i understand your pain maybe they do but being in that same situation i remember when i just lost my dad and before then my mom had called me that they had to bring in some things i don't like speaking about it because i said there's a, i'm going to have an episode when i really tell you how that part that was really a dark spot in my life i don't talk about it but i just want to bring out something so after everything that happened my mom had to call me that <laughs> my mom said something like oh which i don't know what your dad is doing and so i just knew that something had gone left so i left work i rushed to the hospital i left the office i did not even close up Seth. so i left i went to the hospital and i saw my mom and my brother in one room i went into there my dad had been confirmed dead and everything was just i couldn't i was in so much pain that i could not even cry like i was dumbfounded everything that i have envisioned with that man was as if everything crumbled years of planning years of my emotions years of oh i want to do a lot for my dad i want me and my dad to do a lot of things everything crushed that defeat and that is not the point the point is after everything i did not close up from work so i had to leave my mom alone with people that we are around because i had to go close up obviously because it was going to be a lot of arrangements i was not going to be in the office for the two weeks so i went back to the office to close up leaving my mom alone and that woman is really strong i keep saying how strong and bold that woman is i used to think that i have like the strongest mind but anytime i look at my mom like i understand why i turned out this way she has the strongest mind so i came back and the only thing i saw people doing people in as much as people do not realize that that was really insensitive and because you were not in that situation you did not even understand the pain that family was going through and all i could hear was imitazi don't die you all i could hear was ah imitazi is late so come hospital now yeah he did he did this place he did this place ah mr simeon don't die you it was as if the, to me at that point i'm like were you guys waiting for this information it was as if these people were being insensitive and i know a lot of people doing that at that point was out of ignorance but i just remember my mom being in so much pain you could, the people around could not even come comfort her they were just in separate place spreading the news oh um, my dad is late my dad is late and i felt really i have never felt so bitter that i felt that period i lost my dad i was so bitter and for everybody <laughs> for every one of them i still remember their faces i still remember them saying oh if it is his date i still remember anytime i look at them i still see i even till now even though i have let go of, um not in that space of pain and bitterness and frustration anytime i see them in recent times i am just so irritated because i just feel like you don't understand that that point is not for you to spread the news it's for you to calm the situation and probably i have been one of those foolish people that would, would were quick to spread bad news but being in this situation myself having felt the pain that i felt in the period i was like you are that insensitive calling and announcing oh he's late he's late come to so please it was to me it was just it was so insensitive on a scenario where i felt like people will never understand i a very close friend of mine um during the period when i lost my dad that girl i don't know she just took it upon herself to always be around and she, she was going through her own stuff that time but she understood that i had a very close relationship with my dad and she was always there she always spoke to me she would be around she would cheer me up i have lovely friends shout out to them but particularly this is my friend so after i lost my dad um me and we did everything june and we buried my dad june and everything everything was done by june so now, uh, recently this year she lost her mom god bless her soul and we are in circle we are circle of friends and i just felt like in as much as it was two different situations at least my dad was sick for a very long time but has her situation was very different it was still the same pain it was a parent that we lost and her I just felt like I could understand her more. So I was able to be there for her, like probably not the way other of my friends were there for her. I just believe that I did not, because I felt like her pain was much. So at every point in time, I just had to be there. Like just because I, I, I could understand the pain. I could understand like when your world is centered around this person and all of a sudden this person is just not there anymore. The person can never be there anymore. So I was there. I was present the whole time during the um, the funeral. I was present, and I feel like I always tell my mom that probably if I was not in that situation, 
I would not be able to comfort her the way I did. And at that point, I thought, I think I was one of the people that comforted her the most because I understood her pain. I have felt it quite recently, actually. And it was easier for me to just tell her the words. I, when I speak to her, I always tell her that. Because at that point, when I lost my dad, I was in a very dark place. Like, not all my friends knows this, but I was really in a dark place. You know, I've heard people talk about being in dark places, but that my life stopped. You know, I could not function properly. I was just, even at the point when I could function, I was not even thinking about myself. I was just thinking about my siblings. I was thinking about my mom. A lot of times, even to, sometimes now, I don't even, like, I have my plans, but sometimes I get carried away by just doing things for my family. And not, I don't think I'm that selfless in quotes, but just because I just feel like I have to fill in the gap most of the time, I tend to concentrate more on other things than myself. So it's just a lot of times people think you understand, but I promise you, if you have not felt what somebody has felt, you will never understand the magnitude of being the person is feeling. You may be an empath and you say you feel when people feel quite understandable. But something I'm here to tell you is let us try to be sensitive to a lot of things that cause people pain. Because if you do not, if you have not felt that pain, you, I, I promise you, I don't think you have the right to say you understand. You may be sympathetic towards the situation, towards the person, which makes sense because we have feelings as human beings. But saying you understand and feeling that you can act on you claiming that you understand the situation, I think that is really insensitive. So let's be quite sensitive to a lot of things that happen to people that has caused them pain. Because I promise you, you don't understand until, until it has happened to you. Pain is felt. Pain is only understood by people that have felt it. Not people that you are the third seat and you are looking from an outsider's, outsider's perspective. I think this is where the proverb, the proverb comes in. That the person that wears the shoe knows how it fits. So a lot of times when we see people in their different situation, passing through different situations themselves, don't conclude, don't think that, oh, you understand you've been in that same situation. When you've not been in the situation, you're just trying to compare and contrast. So I think until you've had the, <laughs> you've had the chance to experience what that person is experiencing, be sensitive and I would advise you just allow the person to go through it, be there for the person, but don't force your feelings the fact that you understand and this is how it should be done and i said something during the period that my friend lost her mom that the fact that i went through my i did everything because when my dad died i had to plan for the burial myself with my siblings and my mom there were no external factors that could help us with the preparation so we did most of it ourselves so we did everything was sharp sharp like we had to like wear our big girl pants and big boy pants and we planned everything we did everything we had to put the office back in order and like sharp sharp there was no even time to be to be like how they to be mourned so the fact that it happened for me that way i was not in any way forcing even the fact that i have not understood the pain of losing a loved one i always encourage my friend to allow herself feel and soak in the situation because she should not be swallowed by it but i i, I always i remember telling her that take your time i'm not going to Walk through, I'm not going to walk you through my process, but I'm going to show you my process. So let's calm down. Don't, I understand, I understand. And I think that thing annoys me a lot of times. It's, it's not telling me you understand when you really do not understand. So that is the point for today. <laughs> and I feel like when you felt something, it's, it's going to contribute to how you act towards different situations. When you felt something, your reaction and your contribution to things will change, I promise you. So that is what I have to say on today's episode. Um, don't forget to stream this episode on Spotify, Anchor, and on YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give it a moment. <laughs> and guys, follow me on across all social media platforms on TZ, on S formerly Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. We also have a podcast page, EW underscore podcast. In the light of celebrating our country, I want to wish my audience a happy Independence Day. We hope that that's independence come to us nigerians okay like i always say let's spread love because love is god god is love have an amazing week while we celebrate nigeria of course
Bye. <laughs>